Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday and welcome to Future Stars inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. We're going to take a look, actually take a look back at yesterday on Friday for a lot of this video because there was a lot of insane stuff that happened yesterday. Of course, Future Stars dropped, Team of the Year ended, and we had a really weird market crash. I want to talk about all of that with the new promo, how the EA servers actually caused that market crash before Future Stars came out yesterday, and take a look at some leaks because there are some pretty big leaks for Future Stars content coming in the next couple of days, and it's already starting to impact the market. So that's why we're going to talk about that today. And yes, as you do see in the title, I had a buzzer beater team of the year pack pull yesterday. We crafted some packs to start the stream. And if you want to see the reaction to me packing this messy, it is down below in the description. I still cannot believe it. There's a link down below in the description to my Twitter, uh, and I'll, I'll post the link there where I where I pack this messy. But that was that means so freaking much. That pack right there, unbelievable. A buzzer beater, literally 30 minutes before they went out of packs. I, I still can't believe it. The pack luck is beyond absolutely juiced this year. But Future Stars Team One, a lot of mixed reviews. Some of the cards look insane. Some of them. Do not look that insane. So we're going to cover it all today. It might be a little bit of a longer video, but hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. Your weekend leagues, even though there was a little bit of server outage yesterday, they didn't you know, make weekend league extended or anything like that. There was really no compensation. I think it was just because it was between the PlayStation and the PC um, platforms where there was an issue. So we'll talk about all that and what's going on with the market in general as well. So if you're excited for any of these future stars cards or the content to come, make sure you hit a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. Now, I know the market crash didn't affect everybody, but I want to talk about it, right? Because if you saw these market movements yesterday in the morning on Friday, you were like, what in the world is going on? And you look at this graph and it looks absolutely wild. But this is what happened, right? There was nothing happened, nothing unusual, right? A normal Friday on FIFA, maybe a little bit of drop in the panic selling right before a new promo. And then all of a sudden the servers went down and it was about for like an hour, I think, hour, hour and a half, the servers went down and the market absolutely died. It was really weird. Again, this is only on PlayStation and only on PC, but you saw so many prices drop because the market was like halfway down right what you saw was so many people were able to like access the market in terms of transfer you know the transfer list they were able to sell cards list cards up and people saw prices dropping so they kept undercutting like not sure what was going on and you know something crazy was happening people saw the panic and they just kept undercutting each other and footbin caught the undercut so then people were seeing footbin prices undercutting from there but like you know at the same time people were that were listing cards up you know, and driving some of these prices down for some of the people that were on the market, people were trying to buy as well. And I was one of those people trying to buy like Kiesa was down here at a, he was actually at 140k, about two Kiesas yesterday at 140,000 coins. But I literally sniped like 20 or 30 of them, but only two of them registered, right? It was really weird with the servers being down um, for like this little hour to two hour period in here. And it's just created honestly, one of the most crazy episodes on the market that I've ever seen where a lot of this stuff just died for like an hour and then bounced back mostly team of the year honorable mentions SBC fodder did this um, I bought like um, a uh, Alessandrini winter wild cards for 35,000 coins and sold it for 55,000 coins as he bounced back in price it, it was honestly one of the most crazy things on the market that I've ever seen. But again, what really happened was the servers went down. Some people were still on the game and able to list their cards. But when the mass amount of users on this game are not able to access the market, and we've seen this happen multiple times before, and this is just something kind of to keep in mind when we have situations like this arise again, if you see the panic selling like that because the servers are down, that is a huge opportunity if you're able to buy uh, to buy cards because yes, there wasn't like there was a big pack that was released that was supplying honorable mention cards and making their prices drop like crazy. It was purely people selling and panic selling them for whatever reason, and that's why their prices dropped. So the prices basically, as you saw on these graphs, they went down like crazy and then rebounded so fast. When the servers came back up, everybody was like, oh my goodness, prices are so low. They went back out, bought cards, and the market shot back up. So there was a lot of profit to be made, but a lot of people weren't able to make, you know, tons and tons of coins just because the rebounds were so fast, so quick, and so sharp. So if you, you're seeing things about a market crash and stuff like that going on, you know, that's kind of what happened yesterday. And again, it was a really, really wild thing. If you were on the market at that time, 
like Raheem Sterling, even from a fodder perspective, Raheem Sterling was popping up at 13,000 coins. 13,000 coins for an 88 rated card that right now is 27K. It was ridiculous. The whole entire market just absolutely died uh, and then bounced back. So I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that in that short amount of time, only affecting like two platforms, PC and PlayStation. But the issue was fixed pretty quickly. EA did tweet about it, but then after afterwards, they didn't say anything else about it. They said that it, it's been fixed. So um, yeah, anyways, that's that whole situation. I wanted to talk about that a little bit. And I also want to talk about future stars, right? Because I think the promo yesterday left a decent amount of people just like, man, this future stars, yes, there's some really, really good players in here. But overall, this is not as hype as the Future Stars promos that we have seen in the past. And you saw the market react accordingly as a lot of the honorable mention cards that we are looking at right here, uh, as we were just looking at Kiesa, a lot of these cards rebounded pretty well. They really did, right? I was a little bit scared about Kunde because we had two French center backs that were going to be in the new Future Stars team that were released yesterday. But Kunde still went from 200,000 coins up to about 230 where he is now. You had Chiesa after the crazy panic selling was about 215,000 coins. He's now almost 240k as you can see here. And a lot of these honorable mention cards did rebound pretty well because the content yesterday for Future Stars was just kind of average it was just kind of average right and that's what i want to look over right now now not there, there's a few of these cards that are not average by any means right take a look at this chow many card which i bought a few of him just a little bit ago at 1.2 lows and one on snipe at 1.1 mil but like this card the upgrade in this chow many is really really insane jude bellingham is disgusting this card looks like just ridiculous this is like prime icon hullet level and then some uh four star four star high high work rates this card looks ridiculous so the price tag on some of these cards it's like a really big discrepancy for the future stars you have these great cards in the upper echelon the top tier like over 500k you've got four cards you've got vlahovic You've got Bellingham, Chalmany, and Smith Rowe. Those four cards are really, really hype. And then after that, there's a huge drop off to Konate at 300,000 coins, and Dick is 200K. And then, like, the whole rest of the team, I guess uh, Mateus Cunha is also about 290. Then you've got, you know, Botman, Gakpo, Trincao, Pedro Porro, Goncalo Ramos. Where these cards, these guys are basically like discard right they're so cheap they're so low in price and the stats are just okay right and they're not that insane so we have a very like very top heavy and very bottom feeder team all at the same time with not very many cards in the middle and i think that left a lot to be desired for content yesterday on this game now sbc wise um, that was an, another place we talked about in yesterday's video the pack weight and the sbc content would really carry the, the content yesterday on the game our talent scout winner SBC came a bit early, right? We knew we were going to get a Brazilian striker. We got Arthur Cabral. While he did get a very nice boost, only three-star skill moves. Um, and the price tag on this SBC just being just being too much. I believe the SBC price tag here is about 170,000 coins for this card, which it is a very nice Brazilian striker. But for most people on the game, it's not going to be worth the coins that you could spend on this card. You might as well go do, the, if you need a Serie A striker, uh, you might as well go do Lautaro Martinez's team of the year card, uh, team of the year honorable mention that is, I believe, inside of the SBC section here somewhere, if I could find it. Um, I'm sure that he's in here. He's still out. He was released for a little, for a long time, but that card is definitely better. Here it is. Th this card, in my opinion, is way better, more usable. He's got the four star, four star. I think he's got better shooting, better, uh, dribbling. He's got more traits, better physicality. I think this card is just flat out better than the Arthur Cabral that was released yesterday, but still Cabral is, is interesting. It is a future star. And that was the talent scout picked card. Now, this one is actually kind of dope. The Future Stars Academy player pick, Shaloba, center back or CDM. And I think a lot of people are picking the CDM version because it just has way better stats overall. And technically, if you wanted to use Shaloba at center back, you could just slap a shadow on him or slap an anchor on his center defensive mid card and move him to center back in game. And you would basically have the stats of the center back item with better passing, better dribbling, and better shooting and a four-star weak foot 
uh, on the CDM card. So that's why I think a lot of people, a lot of people, if you look on Footbin, they've upvoted the CDM Shaloba. So it was nice to get the Future Stars Academy player day one. Now, of course, it is a bit of a grind. You're going to have to pay, play a decent amount of games between foot friendlies, between rivals, squad battles, uh, all three of those modes. Uh, you're going to have to play a decent amount of games to get this card. There's also a swaps token that is hidden in here, and it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. As you can see, you get a uh, objective reward. It's climbing the ranks. Score in eight separate squad battles matches on minimum professional difficulty with the 83 overall future star Shaloba in your squad to earn the 85. So if you are trying to get all of your swap tokens, you kind of have to do the Shaloba card to get a swap token. So again, EA is kind of being very sneaky about hiding some of these swap tokens in here. As you can see here, they're hitting, they're hiding one in this climbing the ranks section of Shaloba. So I, I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, but we also had another swap token SBC. So there were two there were two tokens that were available as of yesterday uh, because they released another challenge SBC and they released that objective. So that was kind of all of our content yesterday. Now with the foot future stars items, and let's talk market here for a second. Uh, the pack weight on these cards is honestly not bad. It's pretty high. 9.8% as you can see from a 100 K pack in that, in my opinion, that's decently high. But again, as you look at this team and as you look at these cards and we, we can kind of look over them a little bit closer again, if we'd like, um, again, you see there's such a the high tier cards and the low tier cards. There's such a big gap in there. 10% chance of packing one out of a 100K pack. You know, most of that percentage is probably your Goncalo Ramos, Pedro Poro, Gakpo, Botman, and those lower tier cards. So these upper tier cards like Vlahovic, Smith Rowe, Bellingham, Chalmany, they're pretty rare, right? And you're seeing their prices fluctuate around a lot already on this game and on this market. Now, they started off pretty expensive, right? These cards started off pretty expensive. As you can see, I've got some on my transfer targets. I accidentally cleared my transfer list again, or else I would have shown you some of the sale prices that I had. Vlahovic was like 1.2 million coins. Chalmany was like 1.7. Bellingham was about 2 million coins all day until just a couple hours ago. He dropped down under 1.7 mil. He's now rebounding back into the 1.8s. Uh, Chalmany, I actually picked up three Chalmany's. I got some really good deals on this card. And the reason why I picked him up is because he was super duper cheap. I got an insane snipe uh, on one of these 1.23, 1.22 and 1.1 flat. I got a really insane deal on him. Um, and I think he's now rebounding above 1.3, but these cards are going to be staying pretty rare into this morning as well on Saturday. I would imagine because people are going to wake up and want to try these cards. Now, one annoying thing about these cards in the market right now is of course that there's no search filter. As you look in here in the quality section, there is no future star search filter. So like it is be almost become normal on promo Fridays, they've kind of omitted that feature. Uh, so hopefully this Chalmany card can bounce back up. I would love to see him. Honestly, I think he can go to about 1.4 mil because he is very rare and he's got a lot of hype, maybe 1.3 highs. I would love to see that. So we will see if Chalmany can reach those heights this morning. Uh, another card that I flipped, I bought a Smith Row. Um, at 825,000 coins. Now, Smith Rowe was one of the more hyped up cards from yesterday because he got a five star weak foot upgrade. And EA, they did some pretty good business here with the with weak foot upgrades on a lot of these cards and skill move upgrades. Smith Rowe, the five star weak foot, four star skills. I bought one at 825, sold it at 977. I got a bit lucky. That was a lazy. Uh, and then he went back down. Smith Rowe went back down to about 830. And now he's rebounding back up. I think he's going to be over 900,000 coins here in the few hours this morning on the market. Vlahovic, um, as we talked about yesterday and mispronounced his name, of course, that was pretty legendary for the YouTube channel. Uh, Vlahovic went down to about 650,000 coins and has rebounded up since over 700k. There's a decent amount of hype with this card as well because he got that four star, four star upgrade. And just to show you, the stat boost that this guy got in the dribbling category. You have to take a look at this because it cannot go without noting. 92 agility and 90 balance on the 92 rated future stars Vlahovic from his 87 rated player of the month, plus 21 agility and plus 29 balance. EA Sports, you got to give credit where credit is due. That is an insane boost. Probably the most insane boosted card that we had from the promo team yesterday, in my opinion. I know it's just kind of like Team of the Year Lewandowski. I know that it's kind of like Holland vibes, right? But brand new transfer to Juve. They actually did give him the Juve card. 
And, you know, it's kind of funny because they gave him, it's showing him kissing the badge, right? And this dynamic image, of course, would have been from him at Fiorentina. So he's like kissing the Fiorentina badge, but he made the money move to Juventus. So it's just kind of funny in that. But huge dub to EA on this boost on the Vlahovic. But then when you look at the rest of the team, besides, again, those top tier cards that we talked about, you know, Pedro Porro, whatever, you know, Botman, no thanks. Gakpo, no thanks. Trinkau, decent, cheap, you know. So I just think that the overall hype for the Future Stars cards that were released and for the SBC content and objective content yesterday is like a 6 out of 10. Now, with that being said, there are some more leaks, right? And we, we've seen this. This happened during Team of the Year as well. There was a lot of leaks earlier on at the start of Team of the Year. And there is a huge... And when I mean huge, I mean, this is flashback Varane level of hype, huge SBC leaked to be coming out very soon. So I'm going to take a look at a couple of leaks again, just a little bit of a warning. As we look into some of these flashback, Gareth Bale has been leaked. It's been shown. It's been confirmed. He is going to be coming through an SBC pretty soon. Now, I want, to make, I want to make this clear because I think this leak tweet sounds a bit confusing. It says here he will be a flashback for Tottenham. Stats and positions are a prediction on this card right here, right? He'll be a flashback for Tottenham. That just means that EA is giving him the flashback card for his days back at Tottenham Hotspur. Probably the first days, right? Where he was at Tottenham Hotspur the first time before he moved. And then, of course, last year he came back, probably that first number of years that he was with Spurs. Um, and this does not mean that his card is going to be a Tottenham card. Because, again, just like we saw with the flashback Conte or a flashback Cristiano Ronaldo from last year in FIFA 21, they have to use the current club that the player is at for cards that they release in the game. They can't release a Gareth Bale that is at Tottenham Hotspur unless they've got some crazy deal or something that they've never done before. And this is going to be an absolutely insane first card ever. I mean, Gareth Bale is expected to be a Real Madrid SBC in this game. So we don't know when this is coming, but this is a big boy SBC. And I mean, hopefully they juice this card up because Gareth Bale does like not have any special cards this year. Um, he really hasn't earned one yet to be completely honest. So I really hope they give Bale a really sick card. That'd be awesome. We would absolutely love that. Um, maybe it's a left back, right? There's a lot of potential here. And the reason why I'm talking about this too is that there's a lot of hype with this, right? 3,000 likes in the suite, right? Gareth Bale is a big, big name. You've already started to see some of these Real Madrid links go up in price. I bought two of Alberti's yesterday at about 400,000 coins. He is 440. And this card is rare, right? 440, you can see only a couple to 500K. That's up like 40,000 coins. The 87 Valverde was 510K. He's up to 542. This Modric was 700K flat, and he's actually dropped a little bit. But you've seen some of these Real Madrid links rise up because people are already expecting and investing in the hype of this SBC since it's since it is such a big name. I think Eden Hazard winter wild cards. He is up as well. He was like 150. Yeah, now he's about 170. So that card is definitely going up. This Modric, I'm keeping an eye on because he was up at like 740. And he's so, so rare that if I saw one at like 700 flat, I would pull the trigger because that's just really, really cheap for this card for how rare he is as well with the amount of hype that Gareth Bale will have. So just kind of keep that out there. I don't think that's coming today. I think it's too soon for that to be coming today. But in the next coming days, watch out for a flashback Gareth Bale. Of course, we'll probably be talking about that as we get closer and closer to that date because that's going to impact the market a lot, right? Another SBC that has leaked, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Premier League striker, Everton. This will be one that if EA give him a nice boost, that could be a pretty nice card. Pacey striker, especially if it is cheap, that could be a nice SBC that we see in this game uh, with English links, of course, being very popular. And then this one looks really cool as well. Another player pick, for the future stars, Brahim Diaz. These are confirmed stats, left wing and center attacking mid. So kind of similar to the Shaloba player pick. We're going to have a player pick between two different uh, versions of, of Brahim. His gold base has four-star skills, five-star weak foot. So if he were to get five-star skills on either of these versions, that would be insane. I think people would more be more likely to choose the center attacking mid central version. Um, yes, the pace is a little bit down, but the passing is up. The dribbling is still good. And if this one were to have like five star skills, if, if he was five star, five star, that would be a really, really hype card. So that'll be a cool SBC that we could see very soon. And again, we talked about the Tomiyasu, right? That is still out there and there's still potential for a Tomiyasu SBC 
to be coming. I think that that could be sometime either today, later on this weekend, because usually you, the stuff that you see leaked earlier on is the stuff that is a little bit better um, in terms of, or not better, but in terms of dropping in the game, it happens faster. So that's kind of what I would expect to see with that. Now, a couple other things. Two big Player of the Month SBCs dropped yesterday as well. Angel Correa. Uh, this SBC is great value. If you look at Footbin, he's got a lot of thumbs up. It's basically very similar and even a little bit better to the versus ice and fire cards that were released um, a couple months ago as a part of that promo. And this Angel Correa is like 70,000 coins. He is He's very cheap to complete. I think he's like an 84, 85 rated squad with an inform, 80 chemistry. So that's kind of high, but that's a W. And then player of the month, David De Gea as well. I've already completed this SBC, but David De Gea got himself a player of the month and it's coming in at about 32,000 coins. That caused some crazy movements on the market yesterday in terms of goalkeepers, like Donnarumma is down because of the hype on that um, David De Gea. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind as well as that card is pretty hype. And again, since the content yesterday beside those player of the month SBCs was just kind of average. Again, like I said, you saw a lot of these cards bounce back, right? Um, as I'm looking at a few of these cards that I see on my transfer list, some of the out of packs items that we saw, Robertson was at like 220. He rebounded back to like 240, 250. Um, this Del Piero was down. I, I flipped him for a nice profit. Um, and if you look across the market, especially on the team of the year, honorable mentions, some of these cards had really nice rises because again, what happened was people saw the content yesterday and it wasn't that good. So they went out and they bought some of these cards. Muhammad Salah was like 980,000 coins. And I believe he was at 1.07 at one point. He's 1.02 with an undercut there, 1.04, 1.05. But a lot of these honorable mention cards rebounded very nicely um, on the market yesterday. Rudiger rebounded really well. Jonathan David still kind of working on a rebound. Hasn't gone up too much yet. Phil Foden was like 450, 460,000 coins, and he is now upwards of almost 500K. Yeah, 498, 499. Same thing with Bruno, right? Bruno went down to 500K flat, um, and he he's now up in like 570, 580K range. So some nice rebounds on those honorable mentions. Now, today for content on Saturday, what do I think we can expect? Well, they've been continuously releasing, of course, these um, challenges that give out the tokens. I think we'll get another token SBC today uh, for a future stars swap token. I think that's one thing that we'll see. And I think we'll get an SBC, whether it's one player um, for the, um, you know, like the Tomiyasu player pick, whether it's a player pick SBC or whether it's the Com Dominic Calvert-Lewin or the Brahim Diaz, I think we'll get one of those types of SBCs today on this game, but I think it'll just be lightning rounds and SBC and, and a token, right? They also dropped this, Future Stars Challenge 1. That was the new SBC, not Team of the Challenge 9. That's on me. It was the Future Stars Challenge 1, which gave you a rare gold pack on tradable. That was the brand new SBC uh, from yesterday for a token. So I think we'll get another token SBC today, and uh, you'll probably see some more market movements with these Future Stars because, again, even though... A lot of them don't look that insane. There's still a lot of hype for some of these like top tier cards, like the Smith Rowe. Again, Smith Rowe has so much hype, and he's he is pretty rare, right? If you take a look at, at this card, he's 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 literally just gone from 830k to 900,000 coins um, in the past like not even 30 minutes as I've been watching his card. So keep an eye on these items as they continue to fluctuate. Uh, Konate as well had some. These guys had some really big fluctuations in the first hour. Konate was like 400,000 coins. He went all the way up to like 530, 550 even, and then went back down to 370 where I picked two of them up. Uh, still have those, and hopefully he rebounds back into the 400s. Then, of course, I bought those Chamenis. I think Chamenis can keep rising up as he's got a lot of hype. So hopefully we can see these guys you know, get rare into today, rise nicely in price, and uh, it should be a good Saturday. It should be a pretty good Saturday. Hopefully the content is good. Again, it seems like it was a six out of ten day. It really does. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of grade it as a six out of ten day uh, for the Future Stars promo. Really good top tier cards. Not so good cards on the bottom tier, lower echelon, you could say. But with the leaked SBCs that are coming, that we'll maybe see even the first of those today on this game. That's just something to keep in mind that there is more potential content coming. 
And, you know, EA during Future Stars in the past has done a really good job of releasing some sort of upgrade pack, right? 85 plus upgrades, player picks, all that sort of stuff. I would not be surprised if we had those coming out in this next week as well. So just be prepared um, as EA is going to keep the content rolling in this game. So that is the video today. If you did enjoy, make sure to smack a thumbs up on it. Of course, comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know what you think about future stars and what you think about these cards or more so what you think about the leaks because I think, again, there's more hype in some of those leaks and those cards that are coming than some of the items that are in this game right now as a part of future stars. And of course, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe if you are new. So happy Saturday. Hope your weekend things go well. I'm taking this one off. But next weekend, I got to take Messi for a spin because again, I can't just have this card sitting in the club and not use him, right? We used him in one friendly yesterday. He's disgusting. So I can't wait to use this guy a little bit more. Again, can't believe that even happened. But it's been Nate the Vote Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>